Hi, in this video, we are going to talk about variables in quantitative research. Okay, so at the end of the lesson, you should be able to differentiate the kinds of variables used in quantitative research and their uses, and apply the different variable concepts in research appropriately. So variables in research, in quantitative research specifically. So variables are anything that can be observed by the researchers, by the shang, um, person, thing, place, situation, and a phenomenon. So there are different types of variables, and uh, they are categorized depending on the level of measurement and its role in uh, research. So why is it important to understand the roles of variables in research, especially in quantitative research? So it, of course, it is very much important to, to know what type of variable it is or kung ano ba ang role niya uh, so that we'd be able to know what to observe in our research, what and where, and, and what specifically is the observation that we, you know, uh, the, the observation that we're going to make or apply in, our, in the conduct of our research study. So, um, based on the roles of the variables in research, um, we have these different types of variables. So, we have independent variable, dependent variable, mediating variable. We have the moderator variable or moderating variable. We have the extraneous variable. So, again, it's based on the roles of variables in research. So, when we say independent variable, it is also called the causal variable. It, it, causes, it causes the change in another variable. So, it is presumed to cause the change towards another variable, which is known as the dependent variable or the outcome variable. The independent variable may influence another variable to change. And in experimental research, Independent variables may also be manipulated to examine the specific effect they may have toward the dependent variable. So when we say manipulated, um, ito, dito natin i-apply yung change. So yung sa dependent variable, um, mostly doon tayo uh, maglalagay or uh, gagawa ng mga changes to see if that particular change na ginawa natin sa independent variable um, can affect the other variable, which is the dependent variable. So the dependent variables are the variables that are influenced by the independent variables. Okay, so sila yung maaapektuhan. So if it's in the cause and effect relationship, the independent variables are the, uh, the cause or is the cause and the dependent variable is the effect. Okay. Example, a researcher is determining the effects of self-motivation on the productivity of employees. So, the independent variable there is the self-motivation. So, yung level ng self-motivation ng isang empleyado can affect the dependent variable, which is the productivity of employees. Right? Um, another example, a researcher is trying to determine the effectiveness of different coaching styles on valuable teams. So different coaching styles. So the independent variable is the coaching styles and the dependent variable is the win streak of the valuable team. So when we say win streak or winning streak, it's, it's the consecutive um, successes of the valuable team or any game. So in this particular example, it's on uh, the valuable team. So, ito naman, um, kung ito kayang coaching style na ito, um, magbibigay kaya ito ng maraming panalo sa volleyball team. Kung ito naman ang coaching style na gagamitin, ilang panalo kaya ang maibibigay nito sa volleyball team and so on. Okay? So, yung coaching styles, yung coaching styles, ito yung mag-iiba-iba. At yung uh, pagkakaiba-iba ng coaching styles, yun yung magbibigay ng epekto doon sa pagkapanalo ng volleyball teams. Okay? So, independent variable coaching styles and the dependent variable is the win streak. We also have what we call mediating variables. Mediating variables 
or also known as the intervening variables. Intervene, mediate. Okay. So, since they are called intervening variables, since they intervene between the independent and the dependent variables to show their connection. Okay. Um, example, a researcher wants to know the effects of working seven days a week on the employee's productivity level. A researcher wants to know the effects of working seven days, that seven-day work week, on the employee's productivity level. Paano ba nakaka-apekto yung seven-day work week sa productivity ng isang empleyado? So, the independent variable is the seven-day work week. Okay? So, yun yung makaka-apekto sa productivity level ng empleyado. That's the dependent variable. However, we can have a mediating variable there. The mediating variable um, can affect the productivity uh, level of the em the employee. So, the mediating variable, job satisfaction. So, possibly, possibly, na ta mataas pa rin ang productivity level ng isang empleyado kahit na 7-day work week kung mataas din ang level ng kanyang job satisfaction. Okay? So, the mediating variable can either affect can either affect the independent variable and the dependent variable. So, a mediating variable may act as a dependent variable and independent variable at the same time. So, balik tayo dito. So, etong mediating variable na job satisfaction, uh, pwede siyang maging um, independent variable. It can, uh, independent variable at maapektuhan niyo yung productivity level. So, kung high level, ang job satisfaction, pwedeng high level pa rin ang productivity ng isang empleyado, kahit na 7-day work week. Okay? Or pwede rin siyang, it can act as a dependent variable din, maaapektuhan din ang job satisfaction by the 7-day work week. So, it can act as an independent variable at maaapektuhan niya ang productivity level. Or it can also act as a dependent variable, maaapektuhan siya ng 7-day work week. Okay? So, that's mediating variable. We also have what we call moderating variables. Moderating. Yung kanina, mediating, ha? Mediate or intervening variable. Ngayon naman, moderating variables. Imo moderate niya, okay? Moderating variables are variables that have a strong conditioned effect which may modify the relationship between the independent and the dependent variables. So, pwede yung relationship ng independent at saka dependent variables, pwede niyang maapektuhan yung relationship nila. Okay? Pwede maapektuhan ng moderating variable. Example, a researcher wants to know the effects of exercising regularly on one's weight loss. Okay. Effects of exercising regularly on one's weight loss. So, an independent variable dyan is um, regular exercise. Dependent variable, yung maaapektuhan is yung weight loss. Then, we can have the moderating variable, which is the gender. Okay, moderating variable, gender. So, pwede niyang maapektuhan ang relationship ng dalawang variables. Okay, pwede niyang maapektuhan ang level ng relationship ng regular exercise at saka ng weight loss can be affected by the moderating variable which is the gender. Okay. Posible na um, ay kapag ka lalaki, kapag ka lalaki hindi masyadong ano nagwi-weight loss kahit na regular ang exercise. Or pwede ring ay kapag ka lalaki um, mas uh, mas marami yung um, ano ba, weight loss kapag nagre-regular exercise. So, posibleng ganun. Okay? So, the moderating variable, yung gender, pwede niyang maapektuhan yung relationship ng regular exercise at saka ng weight loss. A mediating variable, ano bang pagkakaiba ng dalawa? Um, madalas, yung mediating variable is misunderstood as moderating variable or vice versa. So, here's the tip. A mediating variable should act as a dependent variable with respect to the independent variable and may also cause change to the dependent variable. Yung sabi ko kanina, 
mediating variable. So, itong mediating variable na job satisfaction, it can act as a dependent variable at pwede siyang maapektuhan ng 7-day work week. So, pwede, yung mediating variable, it can act as a dependent variable and pwede siyang maapektuhan ng independent variable. Or, it can also act as an independent variable and pwede niyang maapektuhan ang dependent variable, which is the productivity level. So, yun yun, yun ang mediating variable, ha? It can act as a dependent variable with respect to the independent variable and it can also act as a dependent as an independent variable and pwede niyang maapektuhan yung dependent variable mediating variable while a moderating variable must not be directly affected by the independent variable and should not result to it in any way so, yung moderating variable, hindi siya pwedeng maapektuhan ng independent variable. Kagaya ng, um, let's say, itong um, moderating variable natin na gender. Okay? So, yung independent variable na regular exercise, hindi yan makakaapekto in any way sa moderating variable. Maapektuhan ba ng gender? Maapektuhan ba yung gender ng regular exercise? Of course, hindi. So, that's a moderating variable. Okay? Moderating variable. So, um, the last type of variable based on its role in research is the extraneous variables. Extraneous variables are variables that should be mainly excluded from the research study, meaning hindi mo isasali yan as they may interfere and compromise with the experiment and research results. So, you have to identify ano ba yung mga uh, variables na dapat i-exclude na hindi mo dapat isali dun sa research study as um, baka yun ang maka-apekto, baka maka-apekto yun sa result ng experiment mo. Example, a researcher wants to know the effect of how poor garbage disposal can have an impact on po pollution. So, a researcher wants to know the effect of how poor garbage disposal can have an impact on pollution. So, the independent variable is the poor garbage disposal, while the dependent variable is the pollution. So, pwedeng uh, maraming... Iba pang factors na pwedeng makonsider that can affect pollution, gaya ng environmental factors and yung, of course, yung tao itself, yung mga tao mismo. So, they are called extraneous variable. They can affect um, the level of pollution. However, they are not your focus as of the moment because your focus is on poor garbage disposal. So, you have to exclude these factors from your study. Okay, so again, that's extraneous variables.